Hello everyone, my name is Ishan Agarwal. Today I'm going to present my TikTok video of database and management system. And my topic is translating SQL into the relational algebra. So what is SQL? SQL stands for Structured Query Language. SQL lets you access and manipulate the databases. SQL become a standard of the American National Standards Institute, that is ANSI, in 1986 and the International Organization of Standardization, ISO, in 1987. So what can SQL do? It can execute. SQL can execute queries against a database. Retrieve. It can retrieve data from a database. Insert. It can insert records into a database. Update. It can update the records in the database. Like it can update the values or next is delete. SQL can delete records from the database. Create. SQL can create new databases. SQL can create new tables even. Or it can create stored procedures in a database. It can also create views, different views of a database. SQL can set permissions on tables, procedures, and views. So what is RDBMS? RDBMS stands for Relational Database Management System. RDBMS is the basis for SQL and for all modern databases systems such as MySQL, MS SQL Server, IBM Database Server, Oracle, and Microsoft Access. The data in RDBMS is stored in database objects called tables, and a table is a collection of related data entries in consist of columns and rows. Relational database systems are expected to be equipped with a query language that can assist its user to query the database instances. There are two kinds of query languages that are relational algebra and relational calculus. So let us begin with relational algebra. What is relational algebra? Relational algebra is a procedural language which takes instances of relations as input and yield instances of relations as output. It uses operators to perform queries. An operator can be either unary operator or binary operator. Unary operator uses single table and binary operator uses two tables to perform the action. They accept relations as their input and yield relations as their output. Relational algebra is performed recursively on relation and intermediate results are also considered as relations. The fundamental operations of relational algebra are follows. Select, project, union, intersection, set difference, partition product, rename. These are the main operations or we can say as fundamental operations in relational algebra. Relational algebra is a procedural query language. So let us see the operators of relational algebra in detail. The first operator is called as selection operator or select operator denoted by sigma. It selects tuples that satisfies the given predicate for a given relation and it is denoted as sigma of p of r where p is the condition or logic formula which you want to check for and r is the relation. So where sigma stands for selection predicate and r stands for relation, p is propositional logic formula which may use connectors like and or and not these terms may use relational operators like 
equal to not equals to greater than equals to less than greater than less than equals to. so let us take an example of select operation we can write sigma of subject equal to database of books so here we can say that the table name is books and it is going to select the tuples from the books table or relation where subject is going to be database so this is how we represent select operation using relational algebra next is our project operation which is denoted by pi it is project columns that satisfy a given predicate so notation is pi of a1 a2 a3 so on up to an of r where a1 a2 are the attribute names of the relational table r or you can say that the column names which you want to represent or project from the relation duplicate rows are automatically eliminated as relation is a set for example pi of subject comma author of books so we are going to select two columns from the table book that is author and subject from the relation books and by default it is going to delete the duplicate rows from the relation next is our union operation it performs binary union between two given relationship and is defined as r union of s union is rep represented by u symbol and it is defined as r union s where r and s are two relations equals to set of t such that t belongs to r or t belongs to s where you can consider t as a tuple so r and s are either database relations or relational result set that is temporary relations for a union operation to be valid the following condition must be satisfied r and s must have the same number of attributes that is same number of columns attribute domains must be compatible the values in the attribute should be compatible next duplicate tuples are automatically eliminated as you have seen in the projection operator also so for example if i take pi of author of books union sigma of authors of articles so we are unioning two tables that are books and articles by selecting author column so it outputs the projects the name projects the name of the author who have either written a book or an article next operation is our set difference it is denoted by minus symbol the result of the set difference operation is tuple which are present in one relation but are not in the second relation that means all the rows which are present in second relation are deleted from the first relation and that is projected it will find all the tuples that are present in r but not in s so notation is r minus s where r and s are two tables or relations pi of author of books minus pi of author of articles is going to select the authors who have only written books not articles next operation is cartesian product which is denoted by x combines information of 
two different relationships into one relationship and denoted as r cross x where we can call it as r and s as relations and their outputs will be defined as r cross x equals to set of q t such that q belongs to r and t belongs to s for example, author sigma author equals to tutorials point books and articles. So what it is going to yield is it is going to yield a relationship which shows all the books and articles written by the tutorial S point. And the table names are books and articles. So this way the basic operations of relational algebra. We have discussed selection operation, projection operation, union operation, set difference operation, intersection operation, Cartesian product. Next is rename operation, which is denoted by rho. The results of relational algebra are also relations, but without any name, the rename operation allows us to rename the output relation. Rename operation is denoted with the small Greek letter rho. Notation rho, new name of the existing. Relation name. So, you know, row is the operation to be performed or as rename, and the result of expression E is saved with the name of X. So, how this relational algebra, how we can translate SQL into a relational algebra? Let us see that. Translating an arbitrary SQL language or a query into a logical query plan that is relational algebra expression is a very complex task. Since the latest version of SQL is very large and complex language, including features like recursion, stored procedures, user-defined functions, we will focus here on the so-called SQL 92 subset of the language which can be considered as the traditional heart of SQL comprising only one traditional select from where query, aggregation, etc. Select from where statements without subqueries. Let us understand how select from where statements and without subqueries are converted to relational algebra. Consider a select from where statement of the form select select a list from R1, R2, T1, T2 where, where condition. When the statement does not use subqueries in it, where condition we can easily translate into the relational algebra as follow. Since here we are selecting we are using pi. Pi of select list sigma where condition of R1, R2, R3. Note that an allies R2, T2 is in the form from clause corresponding to the renaming, renaming of row T2 to R2. It is possible that there is no where clause. In that case, it can it is of course unnecessary to include the selection of sigma in the relational algebra expression. If we omit the projection pi, we obtain the translation of the following special code: select star from R1, R2, T1, T2, where the where condition which we are going to write. So let us take an example of select from where statement, select movie title from stars, movie stars. 
where star name equals to name and birth date equals to 1960. So it can be translated as pi of movie title, sigma, star name equals to name and birth date equals 1960. And the table names are stars ln into movie star. We are using Cartesian product here. Next is normalizing where subqueries into exist and non-exist form. Just now we have seen where select where from form mat of the queries which do not have any type of subqueries. Now let us see how to handle or normalize the subqueries into exist or not exist form. In general, however, we also have be able to translate statements in which subqueries do occur. Subqueries can occur in where clause through the operators equals greater than, less than, greater than equal, greater than less than, or less than equal through the quantifiers any or all, or though the operators exist and in, and their negation not exist and not in. We can easily rewrite all these cases using only exist and not exist. However, it is given explained by an example. The SQL statement is select a movie title from stars alone where star name in. This is a subquery that is select name from movie star where birth date equals 1960. So we are using here in operator. So that can be translated to our relational algebra as select movie title from stars alone where exist select name from movie star where birth date equals 1960 and name equals to star name now this can be converted to our relational algebra using the select from where format so context relations to translate a query with subqueries into a relational algebra it seems a logical strategy to work by recursion First, translate the subqueries and then combine the translated result into a translation for the entire SQL statement. It, if the subqueries contain subqueries themselves, we again translate the latter first, continuing recursively until we reach a level that does not contain any type of subqueries. For subqueries that do not contain subqueries themselves, we could think that we can simply apply the previous method. There is one complication, however, the subquery can refer to attributes of relations appearing in the form of lists of one of the outer line queries. This is known as correlated subqueries. The example for this query contains a subquery that refers to a star name attribute of the outer star salon that is select movie title from star salon where exists select name from. So we can call outer relation from which a correlated subquery uses certain attribute context relations for the subquery. Note that a subquery can have multiple context relations. We call the attributes of the context relations, the parameters of the subquery. Note that not all of the parameters must actually occur in the subquery. Thank you.